everyone and welcome to Miss Temple's apartment. Yay! So today do I have a special book for you. It's called Caps for Sale. What we're going to do is I'm going to read and then we are going to set up to draw a picture of a monkey. Let's read. Once there was a peddler who sold caps. But he was not like an ordinary peddler, carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had on his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as to not upset his caps. As he went along, he called, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said, and he walked out of town, slowly, slowly, so not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came upon a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought, and he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a very long time. When he woke, he was refreshed and rested. Uh-oh. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure the caps were still there, in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. <gasps> he looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, <gasps> no caps. Look who has the caps. <laughs> you monkeys, you, he said, shaking his finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. This made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands at them and said, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. <laughs> Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you! You better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. By the time the peddler by this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you! You must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then... Each monkey pulled off his cap. And all the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. And very slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap! The end.
What a nice story. Okay, I'm gonna get myself set up and we are going to draw a monkey wearing a beret. A beret is a fancy hat that they wear in France. Some people wear them around in America too, but known for being in France. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set up and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I have my pencil, I have some crayons, and I have a white piece of paper. We are gonna start with making our um, monkeys and I'm going to open my book and see and be inspired by what his monkeys look like, this author um, and illustrator. So I'm going to hold this open and put it to the side. So we're going to actually change this monkey's legs, but it's going to look similar to this. We're going to start with a side. Well, we can start this way, okay? We're going to start by making a sideways S, okay? It's going to be a normal S, okay? And then we're going to flip it so it's going to look really nice. Then from there, we're going to want to give him a head. See what we did? So now you already have your monkey's arms. So we're gonna give him a little neck and we're gonna go around and connect. See what I'm doing? We're gonna give him a little hand here. Okay, so it's gonna be like that, okay? Now I'm gonna do an inside one. So see how I've connected this now? So it looks like his hands. We're gonna make him holding the beret instead of wearing it. So I've just given him a claw hand and we're gonna give him another circle that he's holding onto that's about the same size as his head. Because remember, if the hat is smaller than his head, then it won't fit. Okay, so got his head, got his hat. We're gonna give this hat just a little um, brim right there. That's the, the bill of the hat. And then we're gonna make a little line there with a hole, with a circle. So it's like a six in the middle. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna give our monkey a back and a front. So this is his middle. Okay. Now we're gonna give him some legs. First one we're gonna do is give him an oval, and then we're gonna give him kind of like a curved C shape, okay? We're gonna go up so it makes a V. Now, we're gonna give him little feet like this. And this one is gonna be just like this. So it looks like it's looking at us. Okay, now we're gonna attach a tree branch. I'm not liking the way this arm is looking, but that's okay, we'll keep it there. It looks like he's got a lot of um, movement. So we're gonna put a tail now. So his tail is gonna come from where his leg meets his body. And we're gonna go behind our arm. And we're gonna make it so it's a little swirly tail. So see how I've made one line? Now I'm gonna go give it a little circle at the end and curve it around. Now our monkey needs a face. I'm gonna start with making a sideways three or the top of a heart. And then I'm gonna use little lines to make his face because we want it to look fluffy. We're gonna give him two ears on the side, one that's behind the cap. Okay, then we're gonna give him some fluffy hair. These monkeys have little dot eyes. So we're gonna give them dot eyes, two little dots there, and then a smile like he's just stolen something that he knows he shouldn't have. 
because he did. Now I'm gonna make these lines all the way up and down so he looks like he's fluffy. So we're giving him texture by not doing that much. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a leaf here, put a leaf here. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little monkey. Okay, now I'm gonna take my one of my Sharpie markers that hopefully works. Okay, so I have a thin Sharpie marker and I'm gonna go in, I'll speed this up for us, and I'm gonna go over my pencil lines. Before I speed this up, I'm just gonna show you, I'm not gonna make the line that I made underneath. I'm only going to put the lines that make him look fluffy. Okay, I'm gonna erase and I'll speed it up. Okay, I have erased and now I'm gonna color. So these monkeys are actually like a mustardy color, but I'm gonna go with a brown. So I'm gonna start by making an all over color. And notice how I don't need that harsh outline to make it look like he's fuzzy. And you just stay inside of that line, of those lines, and it's still gonna make him look pretty fuzzy. You can draw hard or you can draw soft. I'm choosing to draw kind of soft because I'm gonna add a darker outline. I mean, um, darker shadows. Now I'm gonna go in and give him a peach face. This is actually called tumbleweed, but I think it's gonna be a nice color. Oh, nope, it's the same color. That's okay. It's actually just a little bit more orange. But that's okay, we will do something fun with that. We're gonna make, um, put a peach color on top. There it is. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna do another different brown color on top, giving it just a little bit of an extra dynamic coloring. Ooh, my monkey's starting to look super cute. Notice I'm going a little bit faster with the second color because it's already covered. So we don't really need to color that nicely with it. So I'm gonna go like this. Okay. Now, using a blue or purple color, I'm gonna use blue. I'm gonna go in and give him some shading and shadow so that it looks like he stole, he's a uh, three-dimensional a little bit, and it looks like he's actually sitting on this tree. I'm gonna give a little blue there. Mm -hmm. Give it a little bit on his face, in his ears, up here. Mm. I like this monkey. Okay, I'm gonna actually go in with a purple color on top too. 
look at that. It really gives it a nice shadow. So a lot of people believe that shadows should be drawn with black, but I kind of like the way that the colors make it pop just that much more as a shadow. Mm. Okay, perfect. Now, because the monkey is brown, I don't want our tree to be brown. And I'm also being inspired by this being white. So we're gonna make it a tree that is white. I'm gonna give it green leaves. And then I've gotta decide what color I want my cap to be. I noticed that he's wearing a, or he's holding an orange cap in this picture. So I'm just gonna go for that. Um, it's a little bit red orange. I'm also gonna put my crayons away so I don't lose them. Um, so I'm gonna take a color that's close to a red orange. Let's see what we got. Perfect, this is Scarlet. And we're gonna go in here just like that. I'm also gonna go back in with the purple to make the um, to make it look a little bit shaded, like it has a shadow. Okay, I'm gonna go like that. Take the purple that's right here. Boom, 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 boom. Give it a little shadow where he's holding it. Yep. And now I'm going to color the background and I'll speed this up for you. Okay, so now I am done coloring in my monkey. If you want, you can go over it another time so that you don't, if you go the opposite way, you won't see the um, streaks of your drawing as much. So you can go over it and see how it fills in those white spots. That's normally what I would do, but um, today, since I don't have that much more time, I'm going to sign, and I'm gonna sign right in the tree, really small. 2020, exclamation point. Okay, I hope you had a good time. Here's what I want from you. Please send it to me at htemple at schools.nyc.gov, or you can tag me on Instagram, at Miss Temple's Apartment, or you can just dojo them to me. I'll take whatever I can get. Okay, hope you had a good time. See you later.